Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Final Fantasy XV War for EOS on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Final Fantasy XV War for EOS and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Final Fantasy XV War for EOS. So without further ado, let's get to it! Before anything else buddies, to start we need to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, because there's a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We arrived there on the site of Usitility at which we have a precise overview on the best way to obtain Final Fantasy XV War for EOS on PC. We browse lower a little bit and press on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will load to play Final Fantasy XV War for EOS on the PC. As you can discover from here we access a number of advantages of using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Final Fantasy XV War for EOS by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on it. Of course, the download step takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. OK, then we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I reduced the web browser to find the installation software significantly better. The installation software is pretty simple. It contains two possibilities. Install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does. We only simply click on it. Therefore we note that we have now here the path in which the emulator can be placed. If we would you like to change this folder we are required to click on this, browse, option. And we opt for another directory and install the emulator exactly where we like. I prefer to leave it where it is. I click on back. Therefore I pick install. Fantastic. The install begins and it's going to carry on in the download of all these megabytes which are shown on this screen. The moment you download it, it may be a little more or less megabytes. The download speed might go faster or slower, determined by your internet and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Right away they are going very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started immediately. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up and when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator is started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator has been started, here for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you will notice, it has made two app icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the one we're interested in. Every time we want to operate Final Fantasy XV War for EOS on our laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this particular icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me conduct the following step, which is actually a must have, and this is to visit the Google Play Store and we'll just click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented. Right here we must log on. Currently once we're on this page, we must definitely execute the following step that is definitely imperative. So that we click on, Sign In. At present it announces, Checking Info. It could in some cases get blocked in, Checking Info, additionally it does not progress. In this case, you may attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may almost certainly be resolved. At present we're going to insert our email and password. The email address must be a Gmail email address as well as its matching password. As an example you can use the exact same email you are using at this time in your YouTube account. 
Therefore I am going to type in my data and I'll come back after I have accomplished it. That's all. Info typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We would consent to all of them by hitting, I agree. Then, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You might let it select it and it will build a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it. You can utilize this option if you want. We just click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started automatically and on autopilot. To set up the video game, we would need to go to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking on that app icon indicated in green. Currently that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator. We can see that we have right here the install app game option. We mouse click on this button. At this point we have got the game app. How about we mouse click now on the install button that I am just presenting now in green color. This will commence the software installation. Straight away it is going to download on your laptop or computer and install the game app. It typically takes a little while or it might possibly be very fast. This all relies upon on our own internet connection. This has actually finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this particular option that I'm emphasizing in green, in order to start Final Fantasy XV War for EOS for the very first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop, and then we're on the way to simply click that fresh Final Fantasy XV War for EOS icon which has been provided. Your game app is started for the first time on your device. So there we end up with it. I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume level of this emulator. It's right here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is simply the first one. We mouse click on this particular app icon which I am basically pointing out in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. If ever we would like to experience the application using all the screen, we hit this game icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen function. To exit the 100% screen functionality, hit the F11 key and we might at present end up being in regular display screen mode. From now, I am choosing to present you the computer keys mapping and that is definitely very exciting. That strategy we definitely will be able to play the video game more easily. The first thing is to click on this computer keyboard icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to get the recommended controls. I will put the normal settings. However if you plan to change this, you may very well achieve it without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is started in the erroneous language, for instance, in Chinese. And as a result to set it up in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here inside of various other controls, we just click the language drop down. We may very well decide on the language we prefer. German, Japanese, and so forth. Once the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would restart, and the video game, the next time we launch it, will also be in the preferred language. Presently, you can find another element that we have to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive an email telling you that a completely new equipment has been connected to this Google account. It will likely check with us if we are the ones who have connected that device. Yup, we should not be troubled, since the emulator is emulating an Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. So we browse here to the model choice. And now we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys. So much for that video user demo. I sincerely hope you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was handy. If that is so, give it a pleasant like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have feedback, concerns or suggestions, put them in the comment box below. You can even leave a comment on my Twitch channel. I actually do live streams from time to time. You get it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click any of these videos which are usually showing up on the listing of videos to watch and see you in the upcoming instructional videos. Bye.